hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is from horizon all men need to see this man as smart as wife after she tried to take everything he has okay let's check it out she demanded half of his property. Only the court told her that her millionaire husband owned nothing. I'm not signing papers, man. That's not my daughter. Don't throw this I'm not paying him. child support. We get divorced, him. right? Watching my ex thrive, it's a beautiful thing. But it's really triggering for me. Did you hear what Tom Brady did to his ex-wife? Allegedly, when his wife filed for divorce, she demanded half of his property. Only the court told her that her millionaire husband owned nothing. Apparently, all of his property is registered under his mother's name. Because he transferred his assets to his mother, he technically owns nothing, which means he doesn't owe her anything. The court notified me that my final decree of divorce has been approved by the judge. I know that it sucks being alone. I come home and I'm alone. I go everywhere alone. I don't hardly talk to him anymore. <laughs> I don't blame him. I filed for the divorce. So I'm sure people are wondering, well, you filed. Why are you so upset? Why are you crying? Just because you make a decision that you think is going to end up making things better doesn't mean that you have to give up the fact that you love that person or that you did it because you were trying or whatever. I've never met anybody like him and I've never loved anybody like him either, but I don't want a divorce. I still am very much in love with my husband. I've been dating someone pretty intensely for the last six weeks, and it was wonderful. It was wonderful. It was full. We were full of conversation and laughter and friendship and all these wonderful things. But for various reasons, we're just at different life stages and doesn't necessarily have a long-term compatibility. So I know it was the right decision for us to end it, but I'm also sad because it was really fun and I don't want that to stop. Um, but it's also annoying <laughs> that didn't work out and I have to go back to dating because it's really hard. It's a harrowing confrontation between a man, his wife, and her lover. She's my wife, man! My name is She's my her wife! Name is it's almost that painful to wife, watch man. as 48-year-old Keith King struggles with his wife's lover as he pleads with her to come home. Danny, you're picking him over me! You're picking him over me now! I don't want this! Now, this bitter love triangle has led to a shocking court verdict. Keith King sued his wife's lover and was just awarded $9 million. Here's Les Trent. That controversial lawsuit was heard right here in this courthouse. Keith King claimed that his marriage was in perfect shape until that stranger came along and stole his wife and ruined everything. Every time he knew I was out of town, he was coming into town. Attorneys Joanne Foyle and Dorothy O'Neill represented Keith King. You don't have to prove that there was a perfect marriage just that there was some genuine love and affection in the marriage. Keith King owns a BMX stunt show that performs at NFL halftime shows and state fairs across America. His 33-year-old wife, Danielle, worked with him as an MC. She says the marriage was already in trouble before she became involved with another man. He discovered Danielle was cheating when he found flirtatious texts on her phone. I called him from her phone and I said she's a married woman Leave her alone. Don't you ever contact her again. But he says the affair continued for months in secret. Then last year, Danielle moved out of their home. Soon after, Keith went to her new apartment and was shocked to find the lover, Francisco Hooser, there. She's my wife, man. My name is She's my wife. Please. That is my wife, man. You need to stop. This is my wife. You are rude. Tell me about that day you confronted your wife and her lover. If she had been in a car accident and I walked up on the car accident and saw her, you know, dead in the car, that's what it felt like to me. I 
felt like I just witnessed her die. Keith says he considers the $9 million award to be a hollow victory because he'd give anything for his old life back. There isn't a dollar amount that you can put on it for what my, I think my family's worth. She's my wife, man! My She's my wife! Watching my ex thrive, it's a beautiful thing, but it's really triggering for me because I walked away with literally having to start over after 12 years of, of starting over, of wondering if I'm going to be able to keep a roof over my head with my boys and not being able to just go out and, and play in our backyard like we used to and wondering if I'm going to be able to feed them. I'm not signing papers, man. That's not my daughter. Don't throw this I'm not paying child Don't support. We get divorced, like right? Excuse it's me. not my daughter biologically. You signed these adoption papers, giving these child the same biological rights as a child who is your own. Bro, I didn't sign the birth certificate. What adoption paper? Where, did I, where did I sign them at? I got the papers. Okay, you got the papers. It's you ain't got no papers. Did he sign the birth certificate? No, he didn't sign it. I didn't sign a birth certificate. That's what I'm saying. That's not my daughter biologically. Her daddy, her daddy in jail. But she was there since she was born. Okay, what that mean? You adopted her, though. I got the adoption papers somewhere. Okay, but what that mean? Somewhere. I'm not paying child support. We were married for seven years. Just you... pull out the birth certificate. Okay, it don't, it don't really matter if we were married or not. It don't really matter. That's not my daughter. Like, I'm not about to pay child support. You you move on. Meet somebody else. Then he's taking care of you and your daughter. You're getting double benefits. How did that sound? Once you adopt this child, it becomes yours. In the same but what I'm saying is, where are the papers at? I, I, I understand. Do you have the papers? She don't know where the papers is even at. In, um, That's what I'm saying. She's so unorganized. Why are we getting divorced now? You're not let's organized. Let's, let's, First of all, we're the reason why my, my okay. brain is fucked Whatever, but this, let's, and this, let's, this let's your choice. Let's pump the brakes. Let's pump the brakes. This is your we're choice. We're going to take a break. And we're going to come back in like 15 minutes. This is your choice. It's 15 minutes. Can we talk about 15 minutes for what? I'm not signing that. You, it's not my key. You're signing these papers. You I'm not signing nothing. No, I'm not. I just told you I'm not signing she, this. She, she, since she's been born. This paper, I'm not signing. I'm not signing that. It's, you want, this is your, this is her decision to get divorced. So why should I pay for her daughter that's not mine biologically? Whether you think, whether you think I adopted her or not, and in yeah, yeah, I took care of her. Give okay. us 15 and we'll figure this out. Okay, so you, you might need 15, you know what I'm saying? You just thrown away seven years of being in your daughter's You're throwing life. away seven you years. Raised her. This was your idea, you not mine. You raised her. We were together. This is your idea, not mine. You know what? Was it not your idea to get divorced? Look, we're not getting anywhere. Okay. Let's just take 15 minutes to cool off. How you don't want to take care, help me take care of Charlotte? Yo, you being unprofessional. How you don't want to help me take care of Charlotte? You're a Charlotte? very unprofessional. So like, what am I supposed to tell Charlotte? Lawyer. So what am I supposed to tell her? Tell her that we so get divorced. So what am I supposed to tell her? Okay, I'm not so signing that. So you just, you just walking out of your life completely? Yes, I am. That's fucked up. I'm closing this chapter in my life. You want divorce? I'm closing the chapter on you. And Charlotte, I'm not taking care of either one of you. You never why I wanted the divorce. You never asked me why I wanted the divorce. Okay. You, you don't divorce. think it's something that you did wrong? No, I ain't do nothing wrong. You don't think so? I ain't do nothing wrong. A woman That's why I'm not taking care of you reason. and Charlotte. Cause I ain't do nothing wrong. You just walking away. Because you probably got a dude. You probably got a dude or something. I don't know what's going on. If I had a dude, I wouldn't be asking you for no for Okay, no but check this out. I'm not about to take care of you. I ain't about to take care of Charlotte. You going to move on. Meet somebody else. He going to do the same thing that I was doing. Come in there and play play, play daddy for your for your daughter. Play daddy like I've been playing daddy for all this all these years, and then I'm not about to pay for stuff. And then she gets stuff from two that she don't have two daddies. It's important to understand that when you signed the adoption papers, it became your daughter as well. Yeah, but I didn't, where the papers are, y'all ain't got the paperwork. That's why we need 15 minutes to recoup. Okay, man, y'all go recoup. 15 minutes go recoup. Go recoup. I'll be here. Y'all, yo, yo, y'all me to leave. Y'all gonna what y'all gonna do? It's probably in the other binder. Okay, let's just get the other binder. That's just crazy how he spent seven years with our daughter. My baby daddy is in jail. Yeah, I spent a whole lot of money on y'all too. I ain't spending no more money. And I didn't ask you to do it. Okay. I never asked you to, to do any of I what you did. I did it because I loved you. And, and you don't love, love Charlotte? Okay, but guess what? So the love when? is gone. The thrill is gone. You know, BB King, the, the thrill love is gone. gone. So love just is gone. Five. I'm closing the chapter right now. Like, go take your little break. 15 minute break. Go take your break. Come back. I'm not signing that paper. I will sign a divorce paper, but I'm not paying no child support. Oh. If I got, if I'm I gonna find the adoption papers. 
and you're gonna sign this paper. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna I'm gonna give me a lawyer too. I don't care. I'm gonna get a lawyer. Too. The papers are signed. Okay, I'm gonna get a lawyer. I'm not even we're not even gonna discuss this anymore. I'm not done. Y'all done? Because I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get a lawyer. There's two ways to really handle this. You can get a lawyer, which is by your own regard you're able to do. But the more this is dragged mm -hmm. out, the more it becomes more like child support and less like supporting Charlotte like you already have been. And one seems a little more expensive than the other. All right, and whatever. Those are the only two. I'm gonna get a lawyer. I can pay for the money. I can afford a lawyer. I'm cool. So y'all so can, really can go talk about some different terms. You're not shit. Yo, what's wrong with you? Why are you doing all I'm that? I'm over this bullshit. You see what she got on, bro? That's why I'm. That's why I'm. I'm cool, bro. She already doing. She already thought and stuff, man. I'm cool. I'm, I'm gonna get a lawyer. I'm not signing that. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. I'm gonna get a lawyer, bro. Guys, let's be honest. Let's be honest. If that lady. If she even have, if she had half paper, where the guy's signature is even showing half, she would have gone with the paper. This talk, they would have finished talking since. She, she doesn't have any adoption paper. She was trying to, maybe because of, okay, let me just, the way it's in my head. She must have met this guy. The guy was a sink when they met. So the guy was, you know, showing her, showing her with love. The guy accepted her bed with her baggage, even despite having a, a kid for you for a convict, the guy accepted her, loved her, you know, didn't mind her part. So she was thinking that she has found a maga, a mumu, like my people will say. She was thinking she has found a simp. She wanted, she wanted to now stop. I, I guess that all the seven years they've been together, she has collected so much. And now it's time for her to move and look for her next victim. Thinking that, oh, because he's a simp, now any paper she brings, the guy will sign it. Only for her to come and Discovered that oh the sim I I, I married is no longer a sim. He has grown up. He's not a man. He has a mind of his own. He's standing on business. I love it so so much for that guy. Like nah, I love it when guys have sense because if you don't have sense, some women are out there to, to take advantage of you. Come on, I don't even know why good guys don't just settle down and calm down and select a good woman. There are a lot of good women out there. Just the same way there are a lot of good men out there. But people just keep choosing the wrong people. Imagine she's the level of entitlement. You've been with her for seven years. I didn't ask you to take care of her. You guys are, did you just hear what she's saying? I didn't ask you to take care of her. Ah. Women. Like and subscribe. Bye.